Hi, today I will be showing you a simple guide to changes of state for GCSE chemistry. The first change of state is from solid to liquid and this is called melting. This change is brought about by heating the solid until it melts into a liquid. These diagrams represent the change that occurs to the particles during the change of state. When a solid changes into a liquid, the kinetic energy, movement energy, of the particles increase, which in turn makes the particles vibrate more. The forces of attraction weaken and the particles lose their fixed regular pattern. This allows them to slide past each other, hence becoming a liquid. The change from liquid to solid is called freezing. This change is brought about by cooling the liquid until it freezes into a solid. When a liquid changes into a solid, the particles lose kinetic energy and vibrate less. The forces of attraction strengthen and a fixed regular pattern is formed. The particles are no longer able to slide past each other, creating a solid state. The change from a liquid to a gas is called boiling. This change is brought about by heating the liquid until it boils into a gas. When a liquid changes into a gas, the particles gain more kinetic energy and vibrate more. The forces of attraction between particles are completely broken and all patterns are lost. The particles are then able to move freely, becoming a gas. The change in state from a gas to a liquid is called condensing. This change is brought about by cooling the gas until it condenses into a liquid. When a gas changes to a liquid, the particles lose kinetic energy and therefore vibrate less. This strengthens the forces of attraction and begins to form more of a pattern than was previously there. However, as it is now a liquid, the particles are still able to slide over each other. The change in state from a solid to a gas is called subliming. This change is brought about by heating the solid until it sublimes into a gas. When a solid changes into a gas, the particles gain kinetic energy and vibrate more. The forces of attraction are completely broken, so there is no pattern and the particles are able to move freely. An interesting use of sublimation can be seen when solid CO2, dry ice, is sublimed in theatres to create stage smoke effects. There is also the change of state from gas to solid. However, this change is much rarer than the other changes of state that we need to know for GCSEs. Complete! If you like this video, please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe for more content. 
Thanks for watching.